Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're looking at, well, not these watches, but the straps. Now, these are the Artem straps that they sent over. Um, so I'll mark this video as a paid promotion. I don't need to return these straps. Greatly appreciate them sending them over for us to check out. So I actually wore both of these watches for a little over a week. It might even be two weeks now. I kind of lost track, but uh, I was wearing this one on my left wrist and this one on my right wrist to get uh, a good amount of wear on both of them. Don't usually wear watch on both wrists but uh, i have been doing it more often these days so let's look at this one first uh this is my seiko i think it's the sbsa113 this is the jdm version there's also a us version i think it's srpg i don't know 029 something like that but anyway uh, the point of this video is the straps so this one here is the classic black sailcloth watch strap with gray stitching. And I just happen to have this watch on the table. And I think the gray stitching looks pretty good with these indices. They're kind of a, a grayish color. Uh, only thing is the dial is blue. It's Usually when you look at it, um, it looks black. But in the studio lighting here, you can see that it's the blue dial. Also out in the sunlight, you can see that it's a blue dial, but I think it looks pretty good on this strap. And this does have a brushed buckle. Right there. And these are, I think this is leather, leather backed. Um, the sailcloth would maybe be a little bit rough on wrist. I did have a, a while ago, I had a just a pure sailcloth strap on, on both sides. And the backside turned white, I think, from my skin rubbing off on it. I don't know, but uh, you don't see any of that here on this one. So I think the backing is nice. And you can see these are quick release. So this strap is $85. And then if you want the quick release pins, that's an additional $13 for a total of $98, if my math is correct. So yeah, let me put this one on a wrist. And then we'll talk about the other one. Um, this one feels pretty comfortable. I mean, comfortable on wrist. I do have a six and a half inch wrist, and I'm had it on the tightest hole position for a while. I had it on the second tightest, but then I could tighten it up a little bit more. It took a little bit for these to to break in, you know, kind of squish them down and stuff too. So there it is on my six and a half inch wrist with the 52 millimeter wristband. Um, you know, I don't know what size this is. They have a couple different size options. So I'll leave a link in the description to this strap and then the other strap that we're discussing here today. Let me know what you guys think about sailcloth straps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. Actually, this watch here I had a little bit of a, a boo-boo with. I was uh, getting something out of the mailbox and uh, actually hit the back of it on my mailbox when I uh, pulled my arm out. I don't know if you can see it or not. Just had a little bit of a scuff on here. Not a big deal. I'll polish it out one of these days. Or maybe not. It is a field watch after all. Okay, let's go over to the other watch. Um, you know, I meant to look up the model number of this watch. It's the Seiko 5 Dress. Um, Dress KX is what they're called, a slang term, I guess. A little bit smaller than the Seiko 5 Diver. I think I have one over here, actually. Getting off track again, but anyway, it's a 20 millimeter lug on this one, and these are 22. I didn't know that at first. So, totally different case. And uh, you can see this one has a little bit of a kind of a chamfer around here. Similar to the old Sarb 033-035. Not exactly the same, but it's a little bit of a, not a chamfer. It's like a cut in here. But anyway, we're here to talk about the strap. So I had this one sitting on the table. I took off the uh, bracelet, factory bracelet. I actually broke a spring bar in doing so, but here is the factory bracelet. Uh, oops, I forgot I had that in there. So anyway, um, hollow end links you can see they're just retained in by the spring bar uh, this isn't the broken one but anyway the, the bracelets 
I mean, it's it's okay. It's not really the best in the world. It's got the again the hollow end links, then these links right here attaching to the clasp are hollow. So I think it's a good candidate actually for these sailcloth straps anyway. Kind of dresses them up since these bracelets aren't the best. No, I'll fix that later. Nope. Just drop the other spring bar. Not sure if you heard that or not. Anyway, let's talk about this strap. So, yeah, so this is the classic black with the black stitching. And then it has the RM style uh, deployant. So classic black sailcloth watch strap with black stitching. Uh, quick release pins, and then it has this deployant clasp on here. This is a really slick system. The RM style, so I'm assuming that's Richard Mill. I don't really know, but it's a cool system. Um, spring loaded. The way that works is really neat. So there's a, a spring in here attached by that, um, looks like a pin, maybe it's an arbor press, I don't know, but it's got a like a rivet in there. And then the spring goes underneath that bar right there. And then it pivots about this point right here. So the spring is keeping it open. And then when you start to close it, you can feel that spring pressure. And then the spring is holding it closed because that bar is on the outside of that pivot point now. So right there, the bar is on the outside. And then it's on the inside. So very neat system. And um, yeah, it's, it's not too hard to put on either. I just kind of get that started going and then I push that in through there and then it closes itself up so very slick system uh, it does take up some more real estate here so it's not quite as comfortable as this one but the ease of use I think is worth it might just be because I have a smaller wrist too I think if you had a larger wrist you wouldn't really notice that as much it's not uncomfortable just not as comfortable as the other one uh, and this is the one I was wearing on my right wrist so there we go. Actually, my right wrist is a little bit um, wider. So I had it on the second position here, second uh, tightest position. But on my left wrist, I have it on the tightest position. I'll show you how that works in a second here. Uh, yes, I do have this. Technically, I do have this on backwards. But uh, this is how Seiko does it. And I think it's easier, actually, to get this snaked in here with your thumb pushing it that direction otherwise you'd have to well, i guess put it on like a normal strap but it's really not normal you don't have to cinch it down like with this one you don't have to cinch it down or anything so i think this is the way to go for a deployant clasp of this style and uh, i actually put it on backwards by mistake but uh, i like it so there we go I actually purchased uh, before or right around the same time that I got these, I purchased another Artem strap uh, on my own, a used one, and it has the Omega style class. So I'll, uh, I'll get to that one of these days here. So there we go here. I, I like to look at the sailcloth. So uh, this one... I don't know if I talked about the price. It's, still, it's the same $85 for the strap. And then this deployant is an additional $73 for the RM style deployant clasp. And then the quick release pens, again, is an additional $13. So altogether, this setup right here is $171. And this clasp is polished. And you can see I do have some scuff marks on there already. I, I didn't try to baby it or anything. Um, with a bracelet, uh, for example, this guy here on bracelet, which is what I was wearing uh, again today. I really only use this at a desk when I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt to try and uh, buffer the, or not buffer, to be a cushion between the bracelet and the desk. Um, but with straps, I, I don't do that. I just, I like wearing straps with short sleeve shirts and then I can just, uh, do my work at the desk or whatever and um, well the, the clasp kind of took some of that but not a big deal you can just polish that out with a Cape Cod cloth 
Make sure you have the. It's kind of a weird video, but I have the tin right here. Cape Cod metal finishing cloths. These are uh, great for doing some uh, just simple touch up work. Well, no need for a loom shot. I did the wrist shot. So I think that will wrap up this video. Uh, interesting. I thought I had these synced at uh, the same time. I guess I don't. Oh well. So let me know your thoughts on these straps. If you guys have experience with sailcloth straps, I'd like to hear it in the comment section. And as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.